welcome to Sober Healing. This is part two that we were discussing the very beginning stages of quitting alcohol or ideas for people who have quit. You know, it's benefit for everyone really or people who are just thinking about quitting and we're gonna get some, some more great ideas and some things that might not have worked so well for me. So let's get started. Okay, we had talked about in the first video replacing by getting your substitute drink and or food that you know fulfilled your sugar you know cravings um, we also talked about you know some herbal teas and whatnot for anxiety and some substitutes when it came for sleeping in case you absolutely felt like you needed to okay so now let's talk about some other things like I started doing YouTube walking videos because it needed a very small space and you know, you put on music. Um, a lot of times I just did it to watching videos about people quitting alcohol, to believe it or not. I mean, in the beginning, I just want you to see how, how much room it does take. But let me show you, it's just literally, right? You're just moving. This is all you're doing in like a four, maybe five feet. And you know, you might turn. I mean, just, just, just to keep moving, like really, like not much of anything. If you do this for 45 minutes, you would be surprised how many calories. I'm gonna guess at least 200. 200 calories just for doing this in 45 minutes or 40 minutes, you know? So I do this all night, a lot of times. I used to get up in the middle of the night and I used to just move, move my body. And I think that's so important in the beginning because you're full of anxiety like we talked about in the first video. Move your body. <sighs> that felt good. So, okay, so we talked about that. So let's go on to the next one because I know there's plenty of exercise videos online. You can also go out and take a walk in nature. Don't sit, get up, walk through your house even. Even if, it, even if you have trouble walking, you can walk in your house until you get tired, right? The nature is the best thing I just love because around where I live, you can walk for miles. I walk three miles a day and I just love seeing, you know, the birds and the turtles. They're always running around, the deer. There's always something. When I see snakes sometimes run across the road and it's like, oh, you know. <laughs> anyway, we live out in nature, so we see a lot. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, I, for me, a lot of the things was about taking baths. Um, in the beginning because at night I was trying to think okay besides the exercise besides the the teas that we talked about and my lattes and all the things I was doing I did need to meditate and I tried meditating I don't know about you guys but I can't I have a terrible time meditating so I get in the tub and I put Epsom salts in there for my muscles uh, to relax and I'll tell you, it's, it was like a miracle place for me. So I don't know if you have a sauna or a jacuzzi or something. I used to have a jacuzzi. Um, those were the things that for some reason I could relax in. So I'm now to a point because I'm almost at the year point, two more weeks. I don't have to sit in the tub every night, but I did for a long time. I really want you to try to find some place quiet now I don't know what that means for you but maybe experiment with a couple of different places that in a closet or wherever you feel safe where you can pray if you want to pray or meditate or sing or do whatever you want but that's your own personal space so anyways if you can't or you don't want to that's fine we have plenty of other options here I just thought you know that's helpful if you do okay the next thing, work on something. This was the best thing I ever did for myself, okay? This CD, called The Journey, and I'll just show you what it looks like in here. Okay? And the name of the songs is The Journey, The Unknown, The Faith, The Brave, The Awakening, The Light, the magic, the truth, the hope, the memories, the intuition, the blessings, and the peace. The last one, wow. I really came to a beautiful place in my life with the peace. That, that really told the story. 
I just think if you came up with something that you could hold on to that's, that's whether you build something or you draw something or you, you know, you've created something. Maybe pe the girls could do jewelry, the guys could make, I don't know, the guys are wearing these kind of stretch bands. You know how easy these are to make? It takes 20 minutes. This is a stretch thing that you buy and it just fits in the middle of beads. You buy the beads. I mean, it's so easy. I just can't believe it. So again, if you're in a creative state, you can paint. If you're not one to paint on paper, maybe you want to paint something. You know, I'm into crosses. I love God and I love crosses. So, you know, I I won, oh, I didn't do it since I stopped drinking, but before I made a five foot cross with my friend who was a carpenter. Find something during your first stages. And I'll tell you why, because this is gonna be one of the most important things you've ever done in your life. And it's gonna change you. And you're gonna be able to go back and you're gonna be able to remember that you did something for yourself and the memories of healing while you did it. You're actually going to heal while you do it. It's It comes together. Now for me, it's God, for you it could be a superpower, anybody, the universe, anybody above you. You're gonna get signs through doing something and all of a sudden, those signs, it's like it's an empowering thing. It's, it's, it happens to everyone. That's why people dive into projects. So I don't know what kind of project, there's a million projects out there. If you've ever had a dream to do something and you quit drinking, this is the time to do it. Don't hold back that part of your life. When I look at this, this CD now, I cannot tell you how this makes me feel. I will never forget those first nine months of quitting drinking and what this did for me. My compositions are all about me and how I felt. There's no, there's no words, there's no singing, this is all instrumental. But boy, I, w I just want you not to give up on the idea, okay, of making something because to me, you'll look back and I think that's gonna be very positive in your life. Okay, all right, let me tell you some things that didn't work. <laughs> I saw online, because you know, I've always been into detox. I've been into, you know, natural healing with frequencies. I'm a pianist, so, you know, I use those frequencies for internal healing with prayer. So I saw online some something that straps around your head and then you turn on this little vibrating thing on your temples and it's supposed to help with anxiety <laughs> and it was expensive oh my god i thought i was gonna die i thought i had a brain tumor i used it for two days i thought i had really damaged myself and i panicked i thought i was gonna end up in a hospital so please i mean you know natural things is natural this thing was not it was an apparatus that i just trusted somebody on the internet and it just didn't work for me at all it doesn't mean that it doesn't work for somebody else but oh my god what a horrible experience so anyways i sent it back and everything's fine and it took a whole week for the headache to go away from that thing so anyway uh please be very very careful when buying products that are for anxiety you know, because you do, you do need to know what it's made out of. It's a, is it a plant? Is it man-made? Whatever it is that you purchase, make sure you get reviews. Make sure you can talk to people. You know, this is this is serious business when you quit. I quit, and I did not have help. I closed the doors to my house for nine months, and I I did it on my own. I would not recommend that for a lot of people. I was lucky that I detoxed okay. I mean, there were times I was questioning that. But some people, it's so dangerous. You have to have a sponsor and you have to have help if, when needed. I'm lucky that I only had two, like, two episodes that were pretty bad and I had friends to call. So just a word of you know, advice. Please be safe. Um, as like I said, find, you know, make sure you start right away with replacing those sugars with healthy things. I would do that right away. The minute you quit, have the refrigerator full of fruits, 
And, and like I said, the, the raw cacao, get all that ready so you can be making those drinks, either the, or that or the teas or whatever you have ready so that you could go to it. You're not gonna be questioning after three days and all of a sudden you go through this major detox and you don't have anything in your house, right? Raw honey, make sure that's on the list because raw honey can be poured on anything and that's the best for slow glycemic index. It will release that slowly so you don't end up like a diabetic. You know, we have to be very careful of that because in the past, the knowledge wasn't out there and many alcoholic people that, that quit became diabetic because they'd go to sugars. And I mean heavy sugars like cookies and pies and ice cream. You want to avoid that if you can. We want to stay healthy, guys. All right? So that was part two of sober healing. We are going to heal one day at a time. Okay? One moment at a time, actually. All right. Breathe. And take care, you guys. Love you. Bye.